All right, guys, this is um, part two of the five for one super meal discussion. And here we are going more into the specifics of the micronutrients, etc. And also, I forgot to mention, I have eight cloves here at the bottom, which is um, I chew them after every meal. Uh, for cloves between the meals, like let's say an hour or two later when I drink my tea, I chew uh, four cloves after each meal, roughly. Um, they are the highest antioxidant um, ratio of all foods, as far as I know. And of course, they are also <clears throat> antiparasitic <clears throat> against the eggs and so on. <clears throat> which is also important to consider. Uh, one more thing to mention is also important to wash your uh, fruits and vegetables properly. Uh, we do so in a water mix of um, baking soda and apple cider vinegar. Or alternatively, when I have my machine in ozonated water. So that's very recommendable too. So now let's have a look at the... Um, fine print of the meal. Again, we have this ratio here, 51% fat, <clears throat> 31, 39% uh, carbohydrates, and 10% amino acids. That's the important thing. Also, um, if you take actual proteins from uh, animal sources, the body has to break them down in a process which also um, has um, metabolistic side products and it's also costing extra energy whereas when you take amino acids from plants uh, natural uncooked plants then they are much more readily available for the body and much more healthy um so yeah and one more thing to consider is roughly um, if you take your own mm, lean body mass weight uh, and multiply it by the um, golden ratio 1.618, that should be a nice amount of, of um, carbohydrate uh, proteins or amino acids. 1 to 1.618, so I have 57 grams, that is roughly one to one of my weight at the moment. So let's look at the micronutrients. Um, the thing is, <clears throat> it's difficult to, to um, set the right um, uh, amounts needed of um, all the micronutrients. Therefore, some things look a little bit out of proportion, like the 1000% of iodine, which is actually coming from the kelp. Um, they, here it's 1,500 microgram, I think. I don't know what's the English version. They say it's 1,000%. I doubt it's 1,000%, but it's definitely sufficient. Iron, they say 400%. Calcium, selenium, important vitamin C. Oh, actually, there is also rosehip powder in my mix, which I didn't mention. Of course, you can also choose to use acerola powder, cherry powder instead, or um, trifala, um, or um, the main ingredient in trifala is amla for the vitamin C. Loisine is very important if you want to build muscle. So you see we have also sufficient loisine. Otherwise, muscle building will be low. Folate is also very important, actually much underrated for the uh, absorption and utilization of vitamin B12. Uh, folate, I think, is B9. Um, there is a good video uh, in German from Roh Vegan am Limit. I can recommend on, recommend on the subject. Potassium, 87%. Okay, let's get further down in the vitamins, anything, biotin, I'm not sure. Also, you have to consider that um, 
many of the foods, they don't have a complete list of all the uh, micronutrients. So there are foods in my um, meal plan which have micronutrients that don't, don't show up in the result here. So um, I doubt that there is 0% biotin um, sources, peanuts, almonds, eggs, meats. Yeah, I'm sure we have some of that too. Um, but yeah, I would have to research that a little bit. Uh, what else? Everything else there seems to be good. Vitamin C, of course. Vitamin D is not mentioned here. Um, they say uh, these like meats and stuff and so on. Um, but that's, of course, not um, how to say. <sighs> recommendable or possible source uh, for uh, an evolved conscious being. So of course you have to take sunlight. Um, I guess also that there must be something in the bee pollen, vitamin D, but it's probably not listed and in other foods that um, I would have to investigate again more. Um, and yeah, of course you can substitute some vitamin D as well. Vitamin E is there and vitamin K, you see we have 400 69, which is also important for the utilization of vitamin D again. So the lipids, um, the fatty acids mm, are pretty high, obviously, but that's also healthy. You have to understand. Saturated fats are not bad. Um, we have monounsaturated 50 gram, which is a little bit less than, I would say it's something like 40% of the complete. Then we have polyunsaturated 30, um, which is significantly less, and that is good. Body doesn't need so much of that. And then again, we have a good ratio of even less than one to two between the omega-3 and the omega-6. Again, of course, we can look where the omega-3s are coming from. I would have to scroll up a little bit to see that. Chia. Hemp, walnut, olive oil also has quite a bit, and the salad, etc. Also, if you want to add um, cavolo nero, mm, I think it's not using it's uh, there is one one kind of cabbage, which is really high in vitamin uh, in omega three as well. Anyway, yeah, so you see that. And then we have the saturated fats, which uh, here is uh, written 63, but actually we don't need so much because maybe I didn't adjust exactly the, the amount that should be. It's mainly from the coconut olive oil and the chocolate. Actually, the chocolate itself has a very healthy fat profile, chia, and so on. So that's actually quite perfect ratio, um, more man, monounsaturated and then more or less the equal amount of poly and saturated fat. Okay, let's look at the minerals. Calcium, they say 83%. Again, um, I wouldn't take this amount so literal because these are uh, recommendations that these uh, percentages are based on here. They are assumptions for a different type of diet and different quality of calcium. So um, if you take less, lesser quality of calcium, then you need more. And if you eat less healthy, then the body can absorb less. So I'm um, very confident that these 83% are more than sufficient. Otherwise, there is also some, um, I was previously taking, what's it called, from some coral, coral type of calcium. Copper is there, iodine is very high, obviously iron from the beetroots, 
chia has the highest actually barley grass chlorella olives and you see the pickled beets are where are the pickled beets they don't even appear here that's weird chia barley chlorella olives spirulina hemp seeds flax mixed greens yeast hazelnuts that's funny anyway we have also the pickled beets magnesium sufficient manganese Molybdenum, I'm sure we have it somewhere in in one of these foods, but it's not listed. Phosphorus, potassium, selenium, sodium, and zinc. Yeah, um, pretty sure that the zinc is also sufficient. Otherwise, there are special zinc foods also. And then again, we can look at the amino acids. Um, yeah, so there are no specific targets for all of them, but I know that the uh, amino profile of the foods that I take make a complete um, profile of the essential acids. And you see they, those that have specified targets are all pretty, pretty full. The only that are not completely full are leucine and lysine. Um, but again, I'm pretty sure if everything was listed properly, they would be full as well. So I hope that clears any doubts on the completeness of this meal plan. And again, your comments and questions are welcome. Share it for the benefit of all. May the young love be with you. Jai Sri Radhe Shyam.